What is up guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys something really really cool. So as you can see right now we travel down to this beautiful location where I'm gonna shoot this video. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to pick up cars like Zack King. You probably know Zack King. He's like really known for his special effects videos and everything like that. And I'm also currently experimenting with a brand new intro. So make sure to let me know in the comments what you think of this intro and if I should use it from now on in every single video. So this is basically the intro and after that let's get started right guys so I'm gonna pick up a car that's gonna come right there so I would say let's get started So if you are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash that like button down below and I would say, let's get started. Alright guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to lift up cars like Zack King does. Now, we need a couple of things for this video. So, the main thing that we need is a little miniature car of the actual vehicle that we're going to lift up. So, you can find this one on eBay or Amazon for a few dollars and you want to make sure that you will that you will purchase or, you know, get the exact same car as you're going to be lifting up in real life. So, once we've done that, I'm going to explain to you how you want to record this so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure to actually grab the car and when it is driving as you can see the car is approaching and then what you want to do is you want to make the car stop as you can see like that and then what you want to do is you want to pretend that you're picking up the car so what you want to do then is reach over like that and then someone else has to place the little miniature car into your fingers like this as you can see like that and it's not really important if the car is exactly, you know, as big as the as a little car because we're going to cut it that fast that you won't see it. So, what you need to do then is when someone placed the car in your fingers, the car in the background slowly has to drive off, as you can see like that. So once the car is disappeared, you want to pretend that you just picked up the car like this. You want to wait a few seconds so you have some time to cut. Boom, then you want to go ahead and pretend that you lift up the car. And then you want to, you know, play around with it, show it a little bit, you know, to the camera. And then what you want to do, it is pretty simple. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to hold the car right there. And then what you want to do is wait until the car is in the same position, like that. And then you want to have someone hold their hands below the car because you're going to drop it. So I'm going to move up a few frames, as you can see, like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the car, as you can see. And we're going to mask out this car in just a second so that it looks empty. Then it is going to fall from your fingers. And then you want to cut it and take away your arm slowly and then let the car, as you can see, drive off. So that's how you want to film it. So now that you've done everything, you want to drag it into Vegas and then we're really going to get started. So before this video starts, guys, let me know what you think of my new intro you saw at the beginning. And I would say, let's get it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut it right here. We're going to add in a nice fade in, as you can see, like this. So now that the car is approaching, I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. And then just before my fingers get into the frame, like that, you want to move up a few frames back, cut it, and then you want to go ahead and do it like this. When the car is placed into your hand, you want to let the car drive off and you want to cut that all out. So as you can see, we're going to wait until I'm going to pick it up like so, as you can see, like that. So we're going to cut away this part. So let's place it, you know, to each other and let's see what it looks like. As you can see, that looks really, really amazing. Now I'm going to show you guys how to place it back again. So we're going to cut it right here and then we're going to go cut to the end. We're going to cut away this part and then it's going to, we're going to drop it. Boom. And when the little car is over the bigger vehicle like that, you want to cut that away. So then what you want to do is you want to copy that and you want to take a frame of you holding the car in the air when the car is not there yet. As you can see, 
like this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this part. And then we're going to copy that one. Then we're going to create a new video track and we're going to paste it. And we're going to put that guy over it. So then the only thing we need to do is we need to mask out the car. So we're going to go ahead and click on the event pan crop icon of that top part. And what we want to do is click on mask at the bottom. And then we want to pick this rectangle tool. And then you want to basically mask it right here, as you can see. So as you can see, I'm holding the car. I just added a little bit more color correction. So if I move, if I mute this track, as you can see, you want to mask out the parts below the car so it looks like the car is not there. Because if I lower this, as you can see, the car is in fact there. So we want to just remove the car like that. And then when we drop it, as you can see, it looks like the car is now back in place. So guys, that's how to do it. And this is how to lift up cars like Zack King. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe down below and make sure to also hit that like button if you find this video helpful. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for the continuous support. What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome to a brand new video. And do you guys see this 50 euro bill? Watch this. That's pretty cool, right? Let's make some more money. Just copy and paste this. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you guys can see right now, I just returned from the ATM because I had to I had to withdraw about 100 euros, you know, in order to make this video. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I created that intro. So I would say let's get started and let's go to Vase Pro 15. As you guys can see right now, we are in Vegas 15 and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I created the intro because this is something I've never done before, you know, like showing you guys something like this, you know, like copying, pasting money. It was a really fun thing to do and I would say let's get started. Make sure to also smash the subscribe button and the like button down below for more videos and let's start off with today's video. Now, as you guys can see right now, this is just me sitting in front of my laptop and basically what I did is I went to the local ATM and I got two bills of 50 euros. I started off with a, a Word document with uh, zero bills. What I did then is I placed this one into the actual Word file and then the Word file had one 50 euro bill. I just downloaded one from Google. Then I just copy and pasted that bill and then I just took it from the screen, both bills, and then it looked like I copy and paste money. It is that simple. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. So I would say let's get started. So the first thing that you need is you need obviously a computer screen. You need a empty Word document. You need, you need three documents, basically three Word documents. One has to be empty. One has to uh, include two bills of whatever currency uh, that, that well it has to be the same currency that you have in your hand obviously so one empty word uh, document a uh, word document with two bills and then one final document with only one bill at the bottom so then you can basically copy and paste it and take them off the screen so as you guys can see right now this is basically the clip that I use as you can see I'll just to, uh, put on my headset because there's audio and let's hear what it sounds like What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome to a brand new video. And do you guys see this 50 euro bill? Watch this. And as you can see right here, right right here when I you know put my hand on the screen, uh, I'm just gonna press S. And what you want to do, first of all, is you just want to, as you can see right now, I'm uh, you know uh, replacing the Word document with my left hand, obviously. So I will choose a document where it is on the screen. So I'm going to just cut where I'm putting it right on the screen right here, like so. Like this, my hand is on the screen. Then I'm gonna press S and I'm going to cut where the bill is on the screen, like this. So we're gonna cut it right here and this is how it looks. What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome to a brand new video. And do you guys see this 50 euro bill? Watch this. So that looks pretty legit. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in that fine uh, 
uh, those two green bars that overlay. So I'm gonna just go to my images and drag in that image real quick. So as you can see, this looks like a really uh, like a real vine. So as you can see right now, I'm just uh, putting it on the screen. But right here, when I uh, put this on the screen, I'm gonna just cut it, and I'm going to go ahead and you know uh, slide this one a little bit to the left. So it looks like the screen of the, my uh, laptop is in the frame, and then just saying I'm just saying copy and paste this, like this. Let's place it also a little bit to the left, like so. That looks pretty accurate. So it looks like I'm copying the money right here. Boom, like that. So I have two bills and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and cut where I'm taking the bill of the actual uh, screen. So I'm doing it like this, as you can see. So I'm cutting it right here slide it a little bit to the left this so this is what it looks like when i'm taking off the bill off the screen and anytime i'm taking off a uh, bill i'm replacing the document where the bill is removed so let's say that i have two bills on the screen what i'm doing then is i'm just grabbing the first bill move to the a uh, wordpad file with only the bill at the bottom so when I take it off the screen there's no bill at the top because it looks like I took it off then for the second one what I do is I just grab it on the screen I replace the wordpad with the word file with no bills at all I'm taking it off and it looks like I'm taking money off the screen so that's how amazing it looks guys this is how, that's how simple how to do it and this is obviously possible with more, multiple bills as you can see so that's how to do it guys I'll show you guys the end result right now what's up guys my name is alex welcome to a brand new video and do you guys see this 50 euro bill watch this that's pretty cool right let's make some more money just copy and paste this And obviously you guys see some color correction. What I do then is I just go to the effects tab and right here those are all kinds of custom uh, uh, effects. So let's say that we're going to pick turquoise letter box different from the intro. That's what we're going to do basically then is I'm going to you know remove the cookie cutter and this is how amazing it looks guys. This is how you make money, uh, well, how to copy and paste it in Vegas 15. So I want to thank guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>